I'm Dailyfix and welcome to the second part of my X4 series. First of all, thank you so much for the, um, actually the amount of people watching the first episode. I am absolutely surprised about the amount. Absolutely brilliant. Keep it up. Uh, I would love to keep those figures. Now, um, what happened in between this particular episode and the previous one is I started doing a tiny bit of exploration. Um, the factory we started with is by definition not brilliant. We are trying to make it double the money as you can see we already ran out. Um, we have some sunrise I did change the numbers a bit. I had it up to three hours and I changed it back to one and I'm going to assume uh, around the 90 credits we might be selling, I hope. If not, it's it's fine, you know, it, there's, there's no harm in just letting this tick eventually. We do actually need this. But one of the other thing is I found two more data vaults, which we will be doing. But what we need the most is credits. Um, I went all over here to this system because there is the faction representative only to discover that what I want is more expensive than I realized. Uh, we will need to get the, uh, the storage to hold, um, how is it called? It's not, uh, click, click on trade filter. I need a solid storage. And the smallest one is already costing us for the blueprints uh, 350,000 credits. And we do not have the player own headquarters, so we cannot uh, research how to steal these blueprints. So yeah, we have to go the legal route. I'll just call it legal because stealing blue blueprints is actually, uh, you know, it saves you a lot of money, a lot of money indeed so the best way forward in my opinion let's close this trade is to head over towards Hatikva uh, doing the very first mission will get you a ship and once we have that ship we're going to uh, start looking for the player headquarters and you hear me <laughs> that side over there like oh yeah I I think maybe I'm the only one but Bosatar can be so annoying, but we do actually need to get towards that point because we'll get two ships uh, One from the rescue mission one from a Tikva and we need this for funds. So let's just start And head over there what we will do uh, because there is of course uh, There will be enough moments where we don't really have a lot of things to do and I think those data vaults would be quite perfect to do those while we wait because, well, we have to find the headquarters, uh, we need to blow up a ship, we need to, oof. Entering system, a tick choice. Well, at least we're here. Uh, let's go to overview, storyline, accept the mission. Go all over over here and auto pilots. Yo, look at that. Holy crap, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Pause again. What's up here? Can't look at that, huh? Why not? SpaceX. Processing units. Uh no. Programmable field array. Uh yes, please. I'm going to try to take as much as possible. This is well, you know, this might be too risky. Uh, we know there's a gate, and we know that this uh, will lead to Xenon territory. So, yeah, you know what? Let, let's just not not do that. Set that to active. On pause. Autopilot, Autopilot engage. Who are you? Okay. Okay, interesting. 
able to be investigated scientifically is an exceedingly uncommon opportunity. True. You are welcome to join us. Is that really a mission? Yeah, it actually is. Oh, cool. Ah. Uh, like I said, um, yeah, the, the Queenum of the Boron. Um, I, I was already feeling a bit of a burnout when the DLC was Autopilot. like released, okay. and yeah, we know. Like I got three episodes out, and then you know it stopped. So I have absolutely no idea how those missions go i hope you all are actually enjoying uh, kingdoms and the dlc uh, also you know i don't stress it enough i really want to thank ecosoft you know for being absolutely amazing uh, because so far they have been providing me you know with keys to play and i you know i, I didn't really Docking granted I don't feel like I deserve it right now because of my, like, disappearance. Anyhow, we are now at Yatikva base. Let's go talk with uh, Reen Omar. And I, we already know we'll get a ship. So I'm going to be sending my, my little Kestrel. You. I want you to go... Over to the wharf. Ah, oh, Doc can wait over there. And it seems like he is actually going to do that right now. Uh, I do like keeping an eye on my factories. And it seems that so far we have not been lucky with selling the goods. I could sell automatic, but that would change maybe on how expensive things are. No, it doesn't look like that. I might just have to give it money. But like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll do that whenever we actually need to. Let's stop talking and let's just head over to Reen. Trade deals being confirmed. That will be all. Please come in. I apologize for the state of the place. Things are rather hectic at the moment. We've signed a number of promising new trade contracts, but circumstances have left us spread a bit thin. Green, we have an issue with the inbound ore fighter. I hear you, doll. I'll be there in a minute. It seemingly never ends. We've prepared a freighter for you to fly over to one of our new partners. Honestly, as long as you can deliver those goods on time, I'll be happy. If you do that, the ship's as good as yours. If you screw us over, well, the worst we can do is revoke your docking privileges. Sorry to cut and run, but there's something that needs my attention. I look forward to seeing how you do. Now, a question about this. Has any of you who are watching ever decided to cross them over? I'm actually very curious about that. I, I wonder what will happen. I know I could probably just look it up. But will you still get um, Dell? Like, what will happen? And that's that's my question to you. Anyways, let's go to the to the ship. I really love that they are giving this away. We'll grant you access now. Take good care of her. We don't have much in the budget for repairs. Callisto, Sentinel. Yeah, so the reason I love this is this ship, you can strip this ship and you'll be actually, you know, you'll have some more money. It's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely love that. Uh, let's fly. And once we're safe away from the station, we'll, uh, we'll make sure we enable the auto travel and I'll... Um, I'll see you at the... Where do we... Well, we're being sent towards a... It seems like an Argon Prime station. Okay, that's the first time that happened. Usually they send me on the... Some to a... Some Taladi station. I don't I don't know. Well, anyways. Uh, I'll meet you up over there. Do the trade. And, and we'll do the trade mission. Um, then... I kind of need to find... An anti-matter cell facility, or but we know um, 
How is it called again? I just said it. Oh, no. Bosa will actually highlight one for you, but if I can find one already, it will actually save me some time. So I'll meet you up. Yeah, when's we there? Autopilot disengaged. Okay, so we are at the station. I've already found a station where we can buy the antimatter cells. I believe, out of the top of my head, and I've not played this for a year, we need three. But I could be extremely, extremely wrong. Um, so I'm going to hold off on buying them. We might even meet Bosita over on this station. But we'll see what, what will happen. Okay, let's go over here. And do the trade deal. There is a bit of... You can see these pickles over here. So there is a site that we can actually investigate. Uh, let's trade. Uh, medical supplies. Confirm. Smuggling vessel found nearby. That's great. Hello there, Captain. I understand you're delivering goods on behalf of Hatikpa. Yeah. Please stand by while we run some checks. We can actually undock and you'll be like, Ooh, I told you to stand by, but yeah, well, the rest is just okay. It's been it's fun to try it out. Sorry about that. We're happy to see Hatikva move away from those sketchy dealings of the past. If it means fewer scale plate pack ships in our space, I'm all for it. Just watch your back out there, Captain. Ah, uh, we'll do, mate. We'll do. Hmm. There is something red over there. Do we shoot it, yes or no? Civilian ship A. Be careful not to shoot this station. They kinda don't Container. appreciate that. Yeah, uh, what's the key for me again? Um, this one? There we go. Alright, let's go into... Scanning mode and see if we can find this uh, communication thingy. Data, it's a data leak, right? Yeah, it's a data leak. Uh, let's go search for it. We're done for. Behemoth Vanguard Argon Station um, Vessel. Behemoth, Vanguard. Why? What the hell? Not sure why they are upset with me. Did I once again shoot something that's not a criminal? Uh, it's probably that. Okay, then we might need to go and do this somewhere else. Unless you can really quickly... F no, we need to get the heck out of here. Hull Holy crap! Autopilot disengaged. Yeah, I'm going to die. No! Hull critical. What the hell, dude? Have you actually flown a real ship before? No, this is not what you can call a real ship. Yeah, we're dead. Ejecting. Ah, damn it. Okay, let's see where we are. <laughs> what the... Yeah, and what you, that's not what you call a success. Yeah, on, honestly, don't know what the hell was going there. Um, I think... Scene 16th. Yeah, there we go. I need to actually watch it, that recording, see why I triggered these guys. I might accidentally have blown up some drone. Okay, what did I shoot? Civilian ship I did shoot a criminal. So weird. Is there anything like in my inventory? Maybe? Yeah, that might be it. Let's let's drop those. Maybe I missed like they scanning me or something. That's probably what would have happened. I'm not going to shoot that criminal again. Um uh, Let's go to scanning mode. Is there a data vault? Of course there's a data vault. Yeah, I think we've tagged that one as well. 
It sounds like we're extremely nearby now. There it is. Okay, let's get this thing away. Come on. Please be Bosa. One moment, please. If you are receiving this <laughs> transmission, my plan is working. Now, I just need to dial in the Heretic's end coordinates and... Oh, I must go now. My captors will soon return and there is so much more to prepare. What? Did they change the mission? Interesting. Yeah, a lot of changed, I guess. Well, fine by me. I, I guess he will be contacting me at some point. Autopilot engaged. Let's go. Wait, wait, did I have a rollback? Tiny bit. Um We'll go talk with Rain. And then I'm going to strip the ship down, get the antimatter cells, because I do think we actually need them. And hopefully we'll get contacted by Bo Star again, because I am not really sure what's going on. Successfully docked. Okay, let's, uh, let's go talk. Um, I did do another data leak just to see if it would trigger uh, Bo Star again, but it has not. So <laughs> that's quite annoying actually. Uh, kind of messes up with my plan. I... Only if I was given accurate information. That's not going to be of much comfort to their families, is it? Maybe we should come back later. Captain, good to see you back. Ah, this must be the new recruit. Things went smoothly, I take it. This is Dalbuster. He's been helping us in our efforts to expand our business. That's one way of putting it. As you may have heard, a, a Tigva freighter was destroyed earlier today. It seems that the scale plate pact don't like the idea of us going clean. Unfortunately, this is what happens when you act on bad intel. That's something we're looking to improve on. If you're willing, I'd like you to help us. Our goal is to break all ties with Scaleplate while making sure they don't continue harassing us. Easier said than done, but with the right preparation, I'll have them eating out of your hand. I'll be on my ship. I look forward to working with you. No, oh, okay. Um, if not confident. Yeah, I'll talk to you, but I'm not taking the so, mission. What do you say? Not right now. The offer stands if you change your mind. Yeah, we'll do. Uh, goodbye. Um, let's go back to it's a shortcut again. Shift D. Yeah, Shift D. Calisto Sentinel. Let's undock. Uh, we'll actually get those antimatter cells because I think that will probably not change. So let's go over here. Uh, let's get clear of the station. And I wonder if, well, Bostar is going to contact me at some point. I'm really confused. <laughs> I'll be honest about that. Autopilot. So uh, let's head over to the station. Let's take a quick look at our station. Anything going on there? Not really. So we're selling at 85 Hmm, so far no lock then. I'm kind of hoping that he will sell and we'll actually have enough money to keep this going. That would be the ideal situation. The best would have been that, you know, this quest with both the tar wasn't so weird. But then well, uh, what's this? No, that's fine. Successfully docked. Now I will trade free because I think we need free. We do have a tiny bit of money, so why not? Then we'll go and strip this ship down, make sure we have a crew member. So let's undock. Actually, there is another one of those um, data leaks, so let's see if we can find that one. Um, yeah, 
that's not something I was looking for. That's a damn shame. Uh, let's head over. Now, you were talking about Heretic's End, and that would be the Boron system. Anyways, let's set guidance over there. We'll, uh, we'll go strip the ship, get back in our Kestrel, and we'll, we'll definitely keep the Callisto because we need it if the mission didn't change even more. What we can do is to get some additional funds is doing the, uh, the two data sites. That should actually give us enough money to, well, I guess buying a mining ship and just assisting in that way to get some additional funds because it's kind of ruining my plan. But anyway, it's fine. I'll, uh, I'll meet you up with the ships, uh, the ship wharf and we'll continue from there. Docking granted. Okay, so here we go. There is another data leak. Uh, let's upgrade. Now we don't need anything fancy. So let's go with minimum. And wow, look at that, half a million. Uh, and we can actually go even more. All round would be enough combat computers. We kind of don't need shields. But, you know, why not? Why not? Let's go with, keep the Talali shields. Uh, because for whatever reason it, it, it's a it's a good amount of cash basic no docking no long range targeting yeah that's not necessary the one thing i need to make sure of that he is not selling any of my wares right no he should not be half a million is actually very very good very good uh as we need a crew member, uh, which we will promote into being a captain. Add to shop openings, confirm that. Uh, let's get up. Sentinel. And let's go to the Kestrel. Kestrel, Vanguard. And we'll leave that ship over there. And we'll, um, we'll take him when we need. We, on the other hand, we could technically get a few more satellites because yeah we never know when we need it uh let's confirm that order is luckily just five seconds then unlock and we'll um well first of all we're going to be scanning that data leak over here maybe it actually is changing feels like i need to key on my right and then we'll head over to the data vaults. Uh, we actually still need to listen to the majority of them. Uh, let me know in the comment section when you think that would be a good moment to doing that. Because I could do them the second we get it. But that would be like a very weird story. Because we already have like one in here which I of course kind of don't know which one it is. So, when do we want to go over this? Um, the stories aren't too long, but it's actually quite interesting. Earth scientists create jump gates. In 2022 AD minus So, he's actually just telling this. Kazuko made a startling discovery. It was indeed possible to travel faster than the speed of light with finite energy. Kazuko had successfully established the principle of the tunnel jump. Skepticism was rife, but repeated experiments showed that the previously unknown student was indeed correct. Very soon, two huge jump gates were built. That's one so cool. Mars, and the other to Proxima Centauri in humankind's first attempt at interstellar travel. In 2041, contact with a ship carrying the Proxima gate was lost, but after a year of frantic research, the Sol gate once again found a connection. Scientists were stunned to discover that it had not connected with the Proxima Gate, but an unknown gate in a distant region of the Milky Way. Utterly by chance, humankind had stumbled across an entire network of jump gates of unknown origin. It was an invitation that could not be turned down. 
it's just, just fun stories, fun stories about all this. So, so let me know when we want to just dedicate some time into listening to the entire story. And of course, we, we do need to find all of the data vaults in order to get all of the story. Yeah, no. Come and find me if you change your mind. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I don't want that. Um, bit bummed out by uh, the bow staffing, but oh well. Let us head over. Because we actually do have some good cash. How expensive would a very, very minimalistic miner be? And we need to check with multiple of these guys. I prefer it to be mineral uh combat trusters do combat trusters one shield because you know evil evil space things mining mining you know you could probably just do loop low preset and it will tell you right away don't need police Docking computer will speed him up, but usually the AI is a pretty decent pilot. So this thing is slow, but the storage is, you know, quite, quite high. 400,000. Um, so what we could do is use this one. Trade computer is not really necessary. Um, but every base they will come come across, they will just, you know, immediately give you the trade information. So having that is not a huge problem. Usually I go with a large amount of service crew, train them up to be new managers and, and stuff. But, you know, that will bring me like half a million. Too expensive for now, unfortunately. Even though it will jump start um you know a tiny bit of our enterprise uh, but for now let's just head over this nav beacon over here so we can change that up to done okay well waiting to actually get towards this uh, data vault um i did a tiny bit of search and indeed the mission has been changed uh, that means that after this data vault um, we will be going to Tikva's Choice and doing that mission to open up the other gate. Um, let's take a look. Is this a different station? Yeah, it looks like it. So, uh, let me just quickly do this station to get more money. And then we'll do the, um, the Wondrous Opportunity, I think it, it's called. Which, uh, will reactivate that... Um, jump gate they've mentioned okay so wow that took me a lot longer than I kind of want to admit um, but this one actually has two uh, treasure chests if we can call these treasure containers or whatever so yeah it took me a bit longer uh, let's get this and we got a spacesuit bomb okay interesting Remote detonator also 150,000. And then there is, I believe, over there, there should be another chest as well as the, the audio fragment. So let's get that. And, and, and like I, actually let's just get this package, we'll get it to our ship and then I'll just show what I'm talking about due to the timeline. Here we go, even more illegal wares. And come on, give me more. We are now at a million. Very nice. I think. I think we've we should all we we're, okay. So there's two options here for us. Uh, we'll save it up. Get the SML, Vanguard. Uh, get the player headquarters, and use the player headquarters as a very first base to get water. But that also requires me to buy the ice to water uh, factory. I already have the containers. It's not liquid, uh, even though water is kind of liquidy. 
it still found it as like a container uh, thing. So we have a mission. This one, we are going to be activating that. Okay, uh, sounds like a plan. Uh, we'll do that. Also, I got some money in, so I kind of want to check out my factory real quick. Yeah, look at that. We're selling. He has money. He's money. Uh, we're actually bringing in water. Uh, so that's good. That's good news. He, he has done so. We will go get the energy. And this, hopefully, <laughs> is now self-sufficient. Um... We can definitely give him money. Uh, and I'm actually going to do that. We, we're just below a million right now. Jump gate. Unknown. To unknown sector. Where is that? Isn't that the Xenon sector? Okay, I'm curious. Autopilot disengaged. Entering system, Morning Star. Um, uh, I think let's take a look. This one's flying over there. The other one's flying over there. Just, there might be two gates. Um, actually, there are two gates. I think we need this one. Guidance over there. It's right over there. So we're very, very Empty close. Space. Autopilot engaged. Uh, stop. Autopilot. Disengage. We'll just fly through that. I think from what I know of my very short time playing Kingdom's End. It's very... Yeah, actually it should be the next jump and then the jump will get us towards the Boron systems. Yeah. Stop the guidance. Join the Alliance forces at the end, so we need to find them. Where precisely? Oh, yeah, we're looking for it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that is actually quite cool. There is a new way of getting the player headquarters. Does that mean that the player headquarters location has moved? If that is so, there is... <laughs> they really are ruining my plans. Entering system. Heretics end. Attention! Denizens of Heretics end! Please evacuate the designated area immediately! Okay. What's going on? Sir, we are picking up an unusually high energy signature. Oh no. Autopilot engaged. They did change the location. Oh. It was me. It worked. I made the jump. Ha <laughs> ha. Autopilot engaged. Unbelievable. Autopilot engaged. Unbelievable. Autopilot engaged. Unbelievable. Autopilot engaged. Unbelievable. Excuse me, traveler. Did you hear the Alliance broadcast? Of course. Would you be interested in collaborating with one of the greatest scientific minds of our time? Yeah, sure, mate. 
As far as I am aware, I am the only four on this side of the network schism. I am currently in the market for some personal assistance. Should you be interested, please do come for a face-to-face -face chat. Wait, it... when you have time, of course. Um. Unknown station. Okay, that's great. I kind of do want to go there. Autopilot engaged. Does it have a docking bay then? It actually has. Okay, that's not too bad then. Uh, but the distance for this station to be very helpful to us is just, just it's no longer there. I was still assuming that the station would be in Grand Exchange, but uh, he's not. So yeah. Unless he jumps again, which I will highly doubt. Then I would most likely, the best thing for us to do is getting those two mining ships. To start making a bit more money. Successfully done. Alright, let's get up. Uh, aboard the mystery installation. I do apologize for the mess. I only recently escaped my spec captors. Can you believe they forced me to develop weapons? Anyway, I have not yet had sufficient opportunity to undertake much housekeeping. Best not to dwell on the past. All is well now. The installation seems vaguely to be of Terran origin. But it is certainly no run of the mill station. It is equipped with uncommonly advanced research facilities. Frankly, I am rather longing to lose myself in the lab and focus wholly on science. This brings me to a business matter. I require someone to oversee the mundane aspects of base operations. I will be far too preoccupied with my important work. Might this be a suitable and rewarding use of your skills? No need to answer. Of course it is. I have transferred the station to you. No way. I trust you will make good use of it. When you are not otherwise engaged, please do pop down to see me. I am sure there will be bits of bobs that you may be able to help me with regarding my research. When you are ready, of course, you have a new station to grapple with. Okay. This installation is equipped for habitation of all races, and this room seems to be some sort of research area. I expect I could spend years poring over the data contained in these systems. Hello there. Um, okay. Yes, I have already made some progress. There appears to be several things we can research at this facility. Please take a look. As you can see, there is much to do. I personally find mention of this teleportation irresistible. But I leave it up to you to decide what we research first. Please note that these research items have certain requirements. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't really use any of this right now. Uh, so, yeah, research any technology I'm not going to do. Uh, we're heading back to our ship. We're not going to go with the, uh, the Alliance members. Uh, what we will do Best is... Out. Vanguard. We are going to be Hello. buying at least a ship. So we'll undock and we're sending this guy to go um, to a bit more safer location, which, uh, well, we now need to discover this region for ourselves. There is another data vault in there that I would like to take and we might as well do that as soon as possible. You know what? Let's go over here. Start guidance. Uh, I'm getting a text, which is always great. Autopilot. Um, well, I'm, I'm three minutes in, uh, anyways, let me reply this, um, uh, okay, let's get that ship, uh, did we do it over here, boy ship, uh, medium, do I still have one of those, no, uh, low preset, combat, uh, yeah, actually, sure, usually I'll go with traveling for my sellers, and, and that will make uh, more sense uh, in in a few. I think probably the next episode when we 
hopefully get ready to build ourselves a very small station selling ores because that actually does work and i like that um docking computer basic scanner is fine get a trading computer get flares and i think getting five crew members is well let's get three we can buy two of these and i i do think that is going to be interesting let's buy two field calls that will come in due time anyways that's it for now i uh, hope you enjoyed um i hope we'll get the same great results of the first episode Entering and i'll see you next time have a good one bye bye